In today's video, I want to show you a behind the scenes look of how I created my mega tree pixel Christmas tree to light up our front yard and kind of level up our Christmas lights. We're going to take a look at all that up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different tech reviews, tips, tutorials, and more as well as do-it-yourself projects. And this particular video today is kind of a combination of some of those tech reviews as well as a do-it-yourself project. I created or I built a uh, mega tree, which is part of our front yard light show. And uh, it's actually a piece of it. Now over the next uh, couple of years, I plan on doing more lighting adding on to just having this mega tree mega tree is actually the start of my light show that's computerized essentially having lights dance to the beat of the music and uh, this is a project that I started working on earlier this year actually right after Christmas last year and uh, I wanted to kind of create a video for you that shows you all the work that I did as far as getting this pixel tree up and running now this is something that I had been thinking about for a while and if this is something that you're also thinking about doing let me tell you right off the bat give yourself some time to get everything squared away and ready because everything from building the tree to programming the tree all takes a lot of time so this video is gonna concentrate more on the whole construction of the pixel tree and then uh, I'm gonna have another video that I'm gonna do in the future here that is gonna show you more of the behind the scenes of what it takes to program program the songs for the actual light show itself. Um, what I'm focusing on today is the mega tree and, and a mega tree is essentially a whole bunch of strands of lights that make up a computerized Christmas tree that's going to light up and change to the, to the uh, beat of the music. And since I'd never done this before I was also kind of looking for some help. There's tons of different forums online, uh, tons of message boards and there's also companies that will build these pixel trees trees for you uh, or essentially put them together give you all the supplies so that you have everything ready to go that is ultimately what I decided on was a company called Holiday Coral uh, and I'll leave links down in the video description if you want to check them out they've got all sorts of different products that they offer and they actually make these mega trees as a kit and that is ultimately what I did is I wound up ordering one of these mega tree kits um, the website itself allows you to buy everything that essentially makes up the mega tree itself since I hadn't done this before I just figured it might save me some time and be easiest to order one of these kits from this point I want to show you what came with this kit that I ordered and what it took for us to get this thing up and running let's take a look at what came with all the stuff so the mega tree I'm building is a 360 degree tree you can get them at 180 where it's just half of a tree or 270 which is three quarters of a tree. I went for the full tree because this may be used in various spots uh, where you'll be able to see all the way around the tree. So first off, we have these really cool LED pixel lights. So these are not your ordinary Christmas lights. These guys have a computer chip inside each one of these strands of lights. This is what they're gonna look like up close. And then each one of these strands has this port that is gonna plug into the power power supply So each one of these strands is 5 volts and each pixel is 0.3 watts. There are 50 of them on this strand, so this whole strand is 15 watts. I also received four of these spools. So these are the Pixnode strips, which those LED bulbs are going to get inserted into. Each one of these rolls is 125 feet and they are pre-cut, so they've got holes right in them for 
for each one of the lights. Oh, this is the brains of the operation, or most of the brains. Uh, this is the uh, power supply, as well as all the cable link ups where we're gonna hook all the strands into. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker, and Tinker is our little hidden robot, and he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel, including this video. So keep your eyes open for Tinker. He looks just like this guy in my shirt, and he's gonna briefly pop up if you happen to spot him be the first person to take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below along with your best comment and we will give you a shout out in one of our future videos on this channel as well as i will put your name on our tinker ford hall of fame page so one of the other reasons why i went with the kit is just it saves me a lot of time i'm sure i probably could have pieced a lot of this stuff together Together myself but it was convenient having this entire power supply pre-assembled uh, it is waterproofed so it has the plastic case it has clips on the side to hold it closed you can see all of the cables that run out of the bottom and there's clamps on those guys so typically this is going to sit upright keeping the water out of this enclosure i'm amazed that everything just plugs into the standard outlet so coming out of the bottom of the uh, power supply we have all of our power cables they all look like this they all have the screw down cable caps which helps with the waterproofing for each one of the strands and they're all conveniently labeled with different numbers for each strand so this is the tree topper and this is going to sit inside the center post that i have to construct and then all of my strips with the lights are going to seed into the middle of this this is going to go on the bottom of the pole uh, for the center pole and then you can use stakes to stick it into the ground so it doesn't slide around so I also got 32 of these uh, strain relief tabs. So essentially this is going to sit at the bottom of each one of the strips coming off of the tree. And then this gets staked into the ground. All sorts of other stuff, a little bit of Cat5 cable in case I need that. I got a whole bunch of these mini zip ties which I'm going to use to attach all of the strands to the uh, tree topper. Then I also got this plastic block, which it says is the pixel node installation tool. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up two of these top rail fence posts. Uh, these are 10 foot sections. And I'm gonna have to cut one of them because the tree is gonna be 12 and a half feet tall. And I suppose if you're getting a eight and a half foot, uh, you know, you're gonna have to cut a fence post somewhere. Uh, it's, uh, I wanted to note that on this side, so this tapers in on the post, and then what that allows for is one, the tree topper is going to go right on top there, but then when I have one of these fence posts going into the other one, they just seed together. So I've got the two of them connected right here, and right now I've got 20 feet, which is more than I want, more than I need for my fence post, so I'm going to measure it out and then cut it down. So in cutting the fence post, uh, I would recommend not using a pipe cutter. We cut one of these pieces and in cutting it with the pipe cutter, it bent the pipe just enough where one of these pieces is not gonna seed into the other one. What seemed to work much better was just using a regular hacksaw and that left a nice even cut on the end. This top piece is six feet and three inches and this bottom piece, which would normally be six feet, three inches to make it 12 and a half, we left the extra three inches on the end so that that seeds into this top piece. Uh, let's see, moment of truth. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Now to go through all the testing, I have just a couple thousand bulbs to go through, 1600. So I'm inserting all the uh, LED lights into these plastic strips, which is gonna make them nice and straight. The uh, strip comes in just a giant roll, so I am cutting all this up. So I just uh, have my tape measure and some rocks out on the uh, sidewalk, and I'm just laying out a spool, straightening it out. I've got my guide strip, the first strip that I cut, and then I'm just snipping it with some scissors to get it to the length that I need. So from this point, I'm going to be assembling the uh, pixel nodes and the strips. Uh, what I've 
got is my uh, 50 lights on this strand. I've tested all the strands. They're all working. From this point, I'm going to use the quick strip jig, and this is going to allow me to feed the lights through and punch the pixels into the strips. Uh, I've done this a couple of times now, and it definitely hurts your fingers, so I'm using a pair of pliers as well as a pair of gloves to save my hands. And then uh, once we're done with that, I'm going to assemble the, uh, the bottom part, the relief tabs, uh, using the relief tabs and some uh, zip ties. We've got our lights and I find one end, which is the end I'm going to be starting with. We'll set these off to the side. And then using my cut strip, I'm going to feed this through the jig. I'm going to skip the first two holes on this because we're going to use that to mount the strip to the uh, tree topper. And I'm going to start punching my lights through these holes. And now I'm going to keep working my way down the entire strip until all of my pixel lights are inserted into the different holes. And then once I've got all the lights pressed into the strip, I'm just tying off using one of the uh, ties that came with it, the excess cable to the end of the strip so that it keeps everything nice and neat. And then I've got my strain relief tabs and on the end of my strip, as you can see, so I've tied the excess cable with the port and then I've got a couple extra holes left, that's okay. I've got my uh, relief strand uh, piece that I'm going to insert like so and then I'm going to bend the bottom of this strip over and this is the area where I'm going to stick that nail through that spike to hold it into the ground. I'm then going to use these zip ties and we're just going to tighten these up And then I've got the bottom of my strip created. So here is the strip all curled up. You can see all the uh, pixels punched through. So this one's looking good. Yeah, this one's done. So let's do it 31 more times for a total of 32 of these strips. So here you have it. Here's our 12 and a half foot tall mega pixel tree. 32 strands of lights, 50 lights per strand for a grand total of 1600 pixel lights. The tree has a 16 foot diameter. Each one of the strings at the bottom is spaced roughly a foot and a half apart. You can see we've got the stakes pounded in the ground. The lights start roughly a foot and a half up on the strips so that during the winter when it snows we're good until we get about a foot and a half of snow which we usually get six inches maybe a foot so we we should be uh, in pretty good shape. We've got some guide wires that are also holding uh, the tree up for support I'm using one of these clamps screw down clamps to hold the box to the back pole. So we've got our power supplies, we've got our Hinks PIX controller with our 32 different outputs heading out to those pigtails. And everything is as waterproofed as we can get it. Our control box is there. 
with all of our different pigtails coming out and then running to each one of the different 32 strips. And if you're enjoying this video, maybe you're learning something, take a second right now, smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. So real quick, I want to talk to you about how I am doing the music for this pixel tree. What makes it awesome is the music being synced up to the light show. Uh, I could put a speaker outside and constantly have that playing. And uh, I do have cable splitters here where I still have that option if I do want to put an actual speaker outside. But in the meantime, something else that just seemed really cool was getting an FM transmitter. So I purchased this whole house FM transmitter, which I'll link down in the video description below if you want to check it out. And you can see the cable running in uh, to the transmitter from the house. And uh, that's coming from my laptop computer, which is playing the show. And then the FM transmitter is shooting the music out on the 91.1 uh, .1 frequency that I've got the uh, transmitter set to. So as people drive by in their vehicles, they can tune their car radio to that particular radio station and pick up the music and it is going to be synced up with the lights on the tree. So I was also able to pick up this uh, tune into station sign and this thing was pretty durable. I could have made my own sign, but what's nice is this uses uh, lights. You can put in uh, the regular twinkle lights or LED lights. I'm using LED lights for this particular sign and these are just bought at a local hardware store, but you can see they're all popped through the back. And this sign also came from Holiday Coro, but it also comes with a template. So it shows you how to punch in the tune two letters, but then as far as the numbers, depending on what station frequency you want in your area, they've got templates to show you how to make the nine, the one, uh, basically any of the numbers so that you can customize the sign to whatever frequency you are broadcasting on. So in addition to physically building the tree, there's a whole nother aspect as far as programming and getting everything to talk to each other. You've got the controller, you've got your computer that you're doing all the programming from. That is all content for another video that I will have coming soon on this channel. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell, and you'll get notified every time I release weekly videos on this channel. But before we go, I want to show you a completed music sequence with this pixel tree. What is so cool about building one of these projects is that there's really no limits. It just depends on how much time you want to spend creating different songs, different sequences, and it is just such a cool show once everything comes together. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been kind of helpful for you. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Ford. As always, be sure to make every day awesome. And hey, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the light show.